Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to look at uh, bringing in audio into your Blender scene and even editing that audio uh, all within Blender. So let's get started. I have a, just a quick animation, a very simple animation of a bouncing ball. And we're going to add audio. We're going to add a uh, voiceover and background music to this um, scene. Um, and I'll show you how to get started. But before we get started, uh, one thing I'd like to show you is uh, how to create windows within windows, how to break up your viewport into various windows. For example, any viewport, uh, for instance, this, this window, you go to the very corner and you'll see a little plus sign here. Uh, I'm up here in the top right uh, corner. You'll see this little uh, plus sign and you'll get this little plus sign in every corner. Uh, but what happens if you drag inside the window, you click and drag inside, you'll, you're going to split it. Uh, and now I have two windows. Uh, for example, this, this again has a corner here and a corner here. This window has four corners. But if I'm in this window and I go to this corner and I drag inside again, I can split that again. How you get rid of these windows is instead of dragging inside, from this corner, from this very last window, the, the top right corner, instead of dragging inside to split it, you drag outside uh, to take over this, um, this viewport. So from here, you drag outside, you see that um, this arrow means that this one will go into this one and will delete this one. But if you want this uh, viewport to go here and will delete this one, uh, depending on which one you want to delete. So if I want to delete this one, I should go and de delete this one here to expand this one. So uh, again, so if I want to keep this side, I simply grab this corner from this one, drag outside. Uh, and that's it. Uh, and I showed you this because we're going to uh, create another window down here because I'd like to show you guys uh, I'm going to grab this corner and drag towards the inside of the window and then create another window right there. Uh, and it'll, it'll, um, it's default to just duplicate this window. For example, if I wanted to create another window, it'll just duplicate this window. But in this window, I can um, change it to anything. I can even change it to the preferences. Um, I can change it to a compositor change it to uh, another timeline timeline there's a timeline I can change it to any of these uh, windows here editors uh, maybe um, image editor but if I don't want it I just simply I can get rid of it by going outside and then expanding it so we've created a, a, a panel a window down here and it is the same as this top one Let's click on this little icon on the top left corner and choose video sequencer. And there we have it. It's a video sequencer. This is what we need to import sound into our animation. So let's go ahead and add here in the, uh, in the panel uh, menu bar. There's the add menu. We're going to add sound. I'm going to go to my desktop and I have the audio right here and I'm going to, this is the voiceover. I recorded myself just saying a beautiful summer day. Um, I'm going to bring it in and there it is. If I hit play, we don't hear anything. And so why don't we hear anything? Let's look into this. I am going to, I can, I can um, drag this by clicking on the middle mouse button. I can drag it. Uh, and one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to see the waveform, the audio waveform, and I don't see it. Uh, there is a uh, panel um, options right here, this little arrow pointing this way. Uh, and these are the panel options. So I'm going to select this. And I am going to turn on display waveform. 
and um, I can't see a lot there I, I barely see something here let me add some um, frames to this and I'm gonna say maybe 240 frames that way I can uh, go to here and then hit it play a beautiful summer day and then that's it so I'm, I'm gonna crank up the volume in fact I'm not gonna crank up the volume yet I just want to see uh, the waveform a little bit bigger so if I hit control and then the control key and then the middle mouse button I can expand this and then the middle mouse button I can drag it and I can see uh, this a little bit better and I can see exactly now I can see my whole uh, audio I'm gonna hit play three two one it was a beautiful summer day and then I can I can edit this clip I am going to grab this little dark section here and drag the beginning of this all the way out here till I start saying it right here it was a beautiful summer day and then I'm gonna drag this all the way to frame one this whole clip I'm gonna drag it to frame one now as I hit the uh, space bar to play it was a beautiful summer day and then that's it it was a beautiful summer day. so right now I'd like to add another another audio file so go to add sound I'm gonna add this uh, s song uh, and there it is it added right at frame 30 where my cursor was and I'd like to maybe shrink this a little bit and then maybe push this up so that I can see both clips there they are and this uh, music I'm gonna turn on the waveform there it is I'll put it right at the beginning at frame one and then hit the space oh. this one is too too loud uh, besides I'd like to um, even move this one on top of the music and have the music in the background so but having selected the music I'm going to um, adjust the volume so maybe 2.1 and then let's see what that sounds like. It was a beautiful summer day. Perfect. It was a beautiful summer day. And then if I want to maybe even do 1 point, uh, point 0.15. Just increase it a little bit. It was a beautiful summer day. So let's uh, cut this to about maybe 55. And um, what I'd like to do is cut this audio when I say beautiful summer day and I stop. Beautiful summer day. Notice that I, I, I'm not hearing the audio when I scrub my playhead. So to turn that on, here in the sequencer, there's a playback button. Uh, make sure that you turn on AV sync so that it syncs to your video audio video sync and then uh, you can turn on audio scrubbing so now right about there I'd like to cut the audio and I can drag the end by grabbing this dark um, line and I can drag the end of the clip or I can right click right where the uh, playhead is, right click and split, select this and hit the delete key on the keyboard and I can delete that audio. And if this starts uh, bothering you, you can always turn it off, turn off audio scrubbing. So again, to turn on uh, the, the display waveform, the waveform, uh, is here the volume is here the pitch is here uh, and then you can 
you can um, manipulate these by just grabbing them, grabbing them and moving them around. Command Z. Uh, control middle mouse to um, zoom in this way or this way and then just middle mouse to grab the whole entire scene and move it uh, to wherever. Again, control middle mouse and then middle mouse to just grab it. Uh, and that's it. Um, it is a, a great uh, editor without even leaving, leaving uh, the Blender interface. It was a beautiful summer day. It was a beautiful summer day. It was a beautiful summer day. Uh, and then that's how you can add uh, background music, voiceover, sound effects, and anything to your uh, Blender 2D animations. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video.